Okay, our next letter is D for digoxin, our cardiac glycoside. This guy has nothing to do with blood pressure, so we have no orthostatic hypotension and no slow position changes. He is our positive inotropic drug that gives a deep contraction or increases contractility. So think digoxin digs for a deeper contraction, usually given to patients in systolic heart failure or that squeeze heart failure to help with a more forceful contraction. And also it decreases the heart rate, aka negative chronotropic. Chronos meaning time, so negative time we get less beats per minute. But guys, caution, this is very toxic. So think digoxin is a toxin. The top three NCLEX questions will always include our memory trick, ATP. A for checking the apical pulse for a full 60 seconds. If the heart rate is less than 60, guys, it gets a little risky. We don't give the drug. And here to help us out with the apical pulse location is Mr. Channing Tatum. Okay, guys, focus, focus. The apical pulse is located left side midclavicular in the fifth intercostal space, basically between the ribs. You got it? Okay, good. Now, go ahead and go cool off. Now, T is for toxicity. Anything over 2.0 is huge. Early signs include vision changes, nausea and vomiting, anorexia, and even dizziness or lightheadedness. Guys, we want to notify the doctor ASAP. Huge NCLEX key terms. Now, another key term for vision changes include words like fuzziness or even blurred vision, even color changes, guys, and even, keyword here, difficulty reading. Now, that one really surprised us in our NCLEX review. I was like, really, like vision changes for reading? What if you just have problem reading in general? Hmm, tricky, tricky. Not today, Mr. NCLEX, not today. No siree. Now, a big test tip and side note about that big old kidney behind me. Guys, older patients with decreased kidney function are at higher risk for toxicity, our digoxin toxin. Since the kidneys are kind of like our washer machines that wash the blood, guys, broken kidneys means it can't wash the drug out of the blood. So remember, we have two kidney labs for our two kidneys, both BUN and creatinine. But the number one kidney lab is, guys, write this down, creatinine. Any value over 1.3, means no PP, or basically over 1.3 means kidney injury. Huge risk for toxicity for any drugs. So guys, we monitor our elderly and renal failure patients very closely. Lastly, checking potassium level. Any low potassium below 3.5 increases the risk for digoxin toxicity. Now, this does not mean that digoxin can cause low potassium, like diuretics. Guys, low potassium only increases the risk for DIG toxicity. Now, the NCLEX will try and trick you. So again, digoxin does not waste potassium. So no, you don't need to eat more green leafy veggies or melons like when taking thiazide or loop diuretics that waste potassium. So guys, don't get tricked. Now, to help you, a common test question. Here it is. Which patient is most at risk for digoxin toxicity? Guys, it's always either a client on potassium-wasting diuretics, like those ending in I, like furosemide or thiazide, and even kidney failure clients with creatinines over 1.3. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.